Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a matrix space XD. Xn is a Cauchy sequence. They are given Xn k is any subsequence of Xn, and we have to prove that this sequence d of Xn Xn k converges to zero in R with a usual distance. So let us start with the given information. So let me mention here. We have what we have. Xn is a Cauchy sequence in matrix space XD. Okay, so this is a given information, and the second information is and Xn k is subsequence. So this is any subsequence of Xn. So this is given information. We have to prove that this sequence d that means distance. It gives the distance between two terms of a sequence, so that distance will be obviously a real number. So here we get a sequence of real number, and we have to prove that it converges to zero in R D U. D U means usual matrix mod mod x minus y, right? So we have to prove that that is a convergent sequence. Obviously, I am going to use epsilon definition. So let us start with one one epsilon. So let epsilon greater than 0 be given so we have so much important information that that xn is a cauchy sequence so let us use that fact we have we have what we have xn is cauchy so we are familiar with the definition of cauchy sequence that definition says for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a natural number Such that d of x n x m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n, right? So here already we have one epsilon. So let us use it. So therefore, I can write for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number n such that such that d of x n x k Less than epsilon for all n k greater than or equal to capital N. You can take m, you can take k. Doesn't matter. It denotes see k n and m denote. These are two different variables. That's it. So by definition of Cauchy sequence, I got this one. So let me call it as one, right? Uh, see, let us use this space. Okay. Let us go further, right? So what we have, x n k. Okay, x n x n k is a subsequence of x n. Let me mention, we have x n k is subsequence of x n. So let me show you what is meaning of it. Suppose we have a sequence having terms x one, x two, x three, x four, x five, and so on. Subsequence we form by taking few terms. Okay, by taking terms from the original sequence. Just like here, I am taking x two. So in subsequence, my first term is x two. Next is suppose x five. Next is suppose x eight, x fifteen, like that. Getting. So that means my third term. Third. This is the third term in subsequence. Actually, it is eighth term in original sequence. Getting. So that's why we can write. so clearly i can mention here clearly that nk is obviously greater than or equal to k okay since uh, because of this subsequence we can clearly mention that nk nk is greater than or equal to k okay but what we have k greater than or equal to n but k greater than or equal to n so therefore i can write nk greater than or equal to k and k greater than or equal to capital n right so that means nk is also greater than or equal to capital n so therefore from one we can write therefore from one d of xn xnk that is less than epsilon okay see here k greater than or equal to n so that's why we we can write this inequality here nk is also greater than or equal to n so same inequality we can write for nk also i have written there for all n k greater than or equal to capital n okay what will i do i will do one adjustment d of 
xn xn k minus 0 less than epsilon. If you subtract 0, you will get same, right? For all n k greater than or equal to capital N. So, therefore, mod d of xn xn k minus 0, okay? So, actually d gives d is a matrix, so it will never give negative real number. So, obviously it is positive, but I am writing mod there. So, you will get the same value less than epsilon for all n k greater than or equal to capital N. It will give the same number since this number is originally positive real number, okay? Do you remember the definition of convergent sequence in R? Let me show it here. Mod a n minus a less than epsilon, then we say a n converges to a. In case of real number with usual matrix, getting a n mod n minus a less than epsilon, then we say sequence n converges to a. So same situation we have getting at a place of n, we have d of x n, x n, k and at a place of a, we have 0 less than epsilon. So therefore, I can write therefore this sequence d of x n, x n, k converges to 0 in R d u. R d u means usual matrix, get it? So let me uh, remove this one. So in this way, we proved that sequence d of x n, x n, k converges to 0 in R with a usual matrix, pe, uh, usual matrix d u, okay? The uh, example is over, just make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you, see you.